The Mattress Factory Museum is on a quiet street on the north side. But visitors should no longer have trouble finding it. Dave Crawley shows you why. Tucked away on the north side, the mattress factory was not always easy to find, especially at night. Well, that's no longer the case. A new rooftop installation called acupuncture turns on the lights when the sun goes down. This entrance is an installation created by a Pittsburgh artist named Ian Brill. Um, he created it specifically for Urban Garden Party, which was in June. It's our largest fundraiser every year. Samantha Strahota Paolo says the theme was light up the night. The other piece we have around the corner here uh, is by a Pittsburgh artist named Ron Copeland, and he also created this for the garden party. It sheds light on the 40th year for the gallery, which once was a mattress factory. The museum is a center for Pittsburgh artists and others who create eye-catching installations. So as you can see walking through, we have a great view of the city here. But there are still three stories to climb before we reach the rooftop structure, which is clearly one of a kind. This is the newest sculpture we have by a German artist named Hans-Peter Kuhn. From concept to completion, the towering installation was 10 years in the making. I know that this is the only permanent installation of his in the United States, so we're really fortunate to have it. LED lights go on each evening at dusk as the north side adds its own personal touch to the Pittsburgh skyline. We can see it from all over Pittsburgh, so we've gone up to Mount Washington, you can see it from there, from all of the sports stadiums, both sides, so I think kind of all over the city. It's a real landmark piece. Speaking of landmarks, we were also really thrilled to kind of coordinate the unveiling of this piece with the bicentennial of the city of Pittsburgh. So it's a real celebration of Pittsburgh in the north side as well. Shedding new light on the north side, I'm Dave Crawley.